Hi Capricorn, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I'm here to do another reading for the end of January. So I've already done two readings for January so far. This is for the end of January if you want to watch the other ones. I have a playlist or I will tag one of them to the end. This is for Capricorn Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. We're going to get one of these, we're going to get one of these, and we're going to use this deck over here. We're just going to see what comes up. You know, I focus on love, so it is what it is, right? Keep in mind, this reading may not be for you. It's for a general audience. So, let's see. If you're in a happily ever after relationship, then this reading is not for you. Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Let's see what's going on. What's going on for you? One card. Ooh. Success. I know that there is no greater goal than to love. And it's funny, I was going to say you've fallen in love. Is that what's going on? There is no greater goal than to love. Love, 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 right? It's all about love at this point. Capricorn, what do we got? Just give us another card for Capricorn. One more card here. Capricorn. Listening, listening, your inner guide, listening. Listening, uh, this is about discernment. Looking um, beyond the surface, looking within for the answers. Observing. You know, this is a card of silence. Silence bringing the answers that you seek. Capricorn. What do we got for Capricorn? There is no greater goal than to love. Are you listening? There is no greater goal than to love. Looking over here, looking at success with love everything else will be highly successful but love has to be at the top of the list right she, that's what she's looking at she's looking at success there's there's going to be success in love that's what's going on here capricorn You know, you're going to have to open your heart, perhaps. You could be dealing with somebody, maybe you have in the past, if you were the female, you've probably dealt with somebody who didn't open their heart, right? This is probably a person that didn't have good intentions, that just couldn't love you, right? If you're the Capricorn male, this is you needing to open your heart to love to get what you deserve. Somebody didn't get what they deserve because they didn't open their heart, whether it was the person that you were dealing with or it's you. Somebody has been treated unfairly because another person didn't want to be held accountable for their actions, couldn't master their emotions, was just emotionally closed off. Oh, but it looks like you have a better option, which I can see absolutely positively clearly here. I know I knew this card was going to come up before I even chose this deck. This is what I pictured for you. This is what I pictured for you. Okay, this is the perfect match. 
and this may happen suddenly. Suddenly, you may be falling in love with somebody that you didn't quite expect. Sudden love connection, unexpectedly. With a soulmate even, perhaps. Now you gotta make a choice. Are you ready to open your heart? Are you ready to let go of the imbalance? Are you ready to let go of the unjust situation that didn't serve you? Are you ready to let go of that? Because this is a choice. It's like Cupid is bringing you this perfect match. Somebody that, you know, the minute you see them, it's going to be like, oh my God. This is a perfect match. It's so comfortable. Wish fulfillment. I can't make this shit up, okay? This is what's happening. This is exactly, this is the perfect match. This is a dream come true. It's who you've wished for. Wish fulfillment, Capricorn. Sent from heaven. No joke. That's Cupid's arrow. This is heaven. This is a true blessing. So you guys are being blessed with a partnership that is meant to be. After being in a karmic situation with somebody who couldn't love. Goodness gracious. Ooh, I can't even get over this. Your time of uh, being alone, your time of healing has served you well. And now you've got a golden opportunity. This is an opportunity of a lifetime. Okay? This is, a, this is, this is, the, this is the real deal. Okay? This is the real deal. Okay, it's the real deal. So it looks as though you're receiving a new, solid, stable opportunity that could lead you down a path that <laughs> you can bank on. You know, something that you can save, something that could be really long term, something that could lead to real success. Now, this is love and success. I'm telling you what, this is love and success. So you are headed towards a real partnership with somebody. That could really lead to something long-term, solid. Um, it's, it's something you prayed for, okay? It's something you've absolutely prayed for. And I think that, that what has happened is that you have found that self-esteem and self-worth and strength to let go of this imbalanced situation. That's what it looks like to me. You've refound yourself. This person's going to help you to heal the rest of the way. You always got to see what's mirroring each other. Both of you have been through pain. <laughs> and now it looks as though you guys are... Or somebody is, is re ready to open their heart. Somebody is offering love. Absolutely. This is very healing. A very healing energy. A very tr tranquil uh, situation where <laughs> somebody is coming in with an offer of love. And, it, and it's, it's beautiful. It's a beautiful, beautiful offer of love. And it's like we got this, we got this hero... And we got this goddess coming together. So it's like two people that, you know, this person is very loving, kind, gentle, um, ready, ready for love. And then we got this person. This is the protector. So it looks like we have two people coming together that are both ready to, you know, open their heart and have this new passionate beginning. It's like this is the, this is the. This is the last one. I mean, it's like, this is the last one. Whatever that means, I don't know. This is the one. This is the last one. This is the opportunity that you have been waiting for. It is. 
there's going to be a deep attraction to this person. Magnetic, instant attraction. You're going to see this person's uh, beauty instantly. It looks as though whoever the person is that you're dealing with, especially if you're the male, if you are the male Capricorn, you're dealing with a woman who has been abused, okay? This woman has been abused mentally, verbally, physically, perhaps physically, maybe not. Definitely verbally and mentally abused. And this this woman has um, finally decided to open her heart again. So you're going to have to really be gentle with her. Try to be gentle with her, <laughs> please. Um, if you are the, if you are the woman watching this, um, this man is gonna, is going to help you to, to heal, heal from this pain, the pain that this other person caused you from this bully. You are dealing with a bully. This person that you, the new person is honest, truthful. Genuine and real. Very, very real. Yeah, you're about to start a new chapter, Capricorn. One phase of your life where you have been demeaned and bullied and taken advantage of, that's over. Because you're going to have an honest, truthful connection with somebody, which is going to lead you down a new path towards success. A karmic lesson. Karma lesson has been learned. Karma lesson. I'm telling you what. One phase is over. Your phase of, of uh, being alone, your phase of letting this bully hinder your success, that's over. It looks as though you're about to have a new passionate opportunity with somebody that is going to probably involve travel. It's going to lead you down a new path, um, someplace you've never been before. You know, and it's with somebody that is perfect for you, absolutely perfect. But you got to be, be sure that your expectations are not set too high. There's, you can't, you know, it takes two, it takes two, and you're going to have to let your guard down. You're going to have to realize that not everything can be your way. It didn't work out with the past one because there was power struggles. You know, between the two of you. In order for this to work out, you're going to have to let go of your old ideas and change your ways a little bit. This person needs love and care. The woman in this dynamic needs love and care. She is tender. She is loving. She is kind. And she, she needs it in return because the person that she was dealing with did not give it. That person stole her fire and she feels like she, you know, was controlled. So whoever you're dealing with has done a lot of healing work and they're ready to open their heart. But there's a little bit of fear here, fear of being hurt again. So just beware. If you are the um, woman watching this this man has also walked away from somebody that was very controlling. Both people, there's there's a controlling control issue here from the past. But this person, these these people, both of you have healed from this egotistical person, whoever it was, learned the lesson. <coughs> 
But it's like you've given somebody has given up on that. I think both of you have given up on the power struggles, right? Given up on the on the um holding on to that pain. Yes, it's over. The worst is over. It's the end of a difficult time. Yes, and that's exactly what this is. You guys are about to start a new chapter where the pain is being released and you guys are going to help each other to heal. This is Love Heals. Two people coming together and helping each other to heal. So I really feel like we have a major new beginning here after both of you have been through a very painful loss. It's like all of a sudden you wake up and you're in love. But be careful not to lose your focus. It's not all about money. It's not about all about your job. You need to, you know, if you if you really want love to succeed, you got to put love at the top of the list. It's like this could lead to a dead end. It could. It could lead to a dead end if you don't really, really put your heart at the top of the list. Don't let ego and pride get in the way in any way because this is ego and pride and this is ego and pride. You got to remember to be honest and truthful at all times about your needs, about your desires, about your fears. There's, this is this is an opportunity to head in a new direction towards success and to receive what you deserve. A destined change of course, leaving the past hurts, leaving the pride, the rejection of the past. Yeah, you were rejected in the past doesn't mean the next one is going to do that. This is karma and fate coming in to bring you to a better place with a soulmate, a new soulmate. This is your lucky break. It really is. Have no fear. There's fear. Fear of getting hurt again. Let go of that fear. Oh, oh God. This is this is the this is the love of a life, okay? This is the love of a lifetime. This is it. This is it. This is it, Capricorn. It's destiny, okay? It's destiny. It's fate. It is. It's meant to be. It's meant to be. I mean you can't. It's meant to be. So it looks like you have a new connection after being in a really painful, almost like abusive situation. That time is over. That difficult period of your life is over. We have a destined change, of course, that is leading you towards absolute true love. Don't be scared. Let go of those fears. This is meant to be. So yeah, we have a new love. We have a new love connection here. We absolutely do. It's wish fulfillment. It is absolutely divinely guided. It is meant to be. Follow your intuition. Really listen to your intuition. This is this is definitely a match made in heaven. Take it. That is what I have, Capricorn. There is no need for me to go any further. Okay, there is no need. Destiny, fate, blessing, match made in heaven. This is, I mean, when you see this person, you are going to know. You know, you already know. This is it. Instantly. Instant. Undeniable.
Don't let the past pain, the past injustice, the person that couldn't love you, hinder your success with this new love. This is a blessing. It's what you've wished for. Good luck.